Hello and uh, welcome back to another episode of uh, us telling about the RPG system in uh, in Tales of Lithuan, created by you, Andreas. That's yeah. great. Yes. Today we're going to talk about how to create a character in the role-playing system. Mm-hmm. So um, the different um, things on the character sheet that you will be going through when you create your own character in the world of Lithuan. So when you start making a character in this system, what do you need to think about, Andreas? Well, the first step you should think about is what kind of character type are you? Do you want to be like a scholar who's very studious, you know, and knows a lot about books and stuff? Kind of like that. Or do we want to be an athlete, someone who's very sporty and fit? <laughs> or do we want to be a charmer, a person with a silver tongue who can kind of just talk his way out of anything? Or would you rather be an all-rounder, someone who's kind of a it's jack of all head. Yeah, that's it all. <laughs> a jack of all trades, but a master of none. So you have all these four different types of uh, of characters. Um, mm-hmm. um, can you just mention briefly, real fast again, athlete. Scholar and charmer, charmer, and all rounder, all rounder, and it's kind of like a a basic a basic thing about what kind of stats are they normally best at. Like an athlete is best with his physical stats, swiftness, endurance, and a scholar is best with his mental stats, which are logic and intuition, and the charmer is best with his social stats, charisma, and discipline, while an all rounder doesn't have something he's best at but he doesn't have something he's worst at either he's mm. kind of an on an even mm. medium field in all areas and then we have five different races right but yeah we have five different races there are a lot of races in Alethran but the five most important ones um, maybe uh, should we go we, uh, we there, have there's, there's the human there's the human e- everyone kind of yeah. knows a human is you know? human he's, he's kind of uh, the least uh, he's the most common yeah yeah, guy. yeah. you can be everything with him but yeah. uh, he, he might not be spectacular but he's he's pretty pretty decent pretty decent at different stuff yeah uh, then, then there's the the gnome the, yeah, the gnome have the gnomes um, clever the, guys clever guys usually good uh, at mental things and then we have the Ralox. A thing you might not have heard about before. It's uh, the relic frogs of frog, um, people. frog people uh, in the world of Lithran. They have poisonous uh, uh, poisonous skins and they are immune to poison. Um, and they're really territorial and a bit uh, aggressive. It's the type of guy you don't want to, uh, usually don't want to be around. But uh, sometimes they're good to have in the group. And they are kind of adept with magic as well. Yeah. And there actually is a relic in the reward. Oh yeah, the relic uh, in the reward you've seen is uh, Mira's thug buddy uh, in the reward. Uh, you know the magician frog. Mm-hmm. Then we have the collectors. Yeah, those are the lizard people. The lizard people are, um, are shy uh, tribe people living in the swamps um, usually, and they collect things from humans and build n- new magical things out of them. Um, also a good choice, and the strongest mm-hmm. race of them all is the blue skin. The blue skin, yeah, half monster, half man, yeah, or woman. <laughs> <laughs> and um, those are people like uh, Mira, who gets stabbed in the road, or, or her daughter, who's hunting Wilhelm right now. They have monster blood in them. Yes. Okay, so uh, the different classes. That's good. Now, they're basically all the races. Let's just mention a few of them. Um, you have the the fighter, of course, the warrior, the warrior, warrior, and different magicians. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's it's uh, there are two overall types: specialists and spellcasters. And specialists, that those are the ones who are non-magical but have their own prowess in different oh, yeah. areas, like warriors and rogues. Then there's spellcasters like 
clerics and bards and wizards and sorcerers and, and shamans. Mm. That comes to the priority system. Can you tell a little bit about the priority system, how you balance yeah. this so you will always be uh, as good as the other character, even though you choose a human instead of blue skin? Uh, yeah, you kind of you, you start out by uh, by having those different categories with the uh, race and stats and skills. Uh, right, yeah. And uh, you kind of choose what do you want to be best at? Do you want to be best at skills? Or do you want to be best at uh, stats, your overall stats? Or do you want to be a more powerful class, uh, have more points to buy spells, mm -hmm. have more overall points to buy different stuff? So, you know, focus on the race you have uh, with better st starting stats and mm. uh, abilities. Yeah. Uh, and uh, depending on how you want to prioritize these different areas, You you make your character, uh, so you can, for example, put the value A in stats. That's the best value, and, and let's, B let's in race, for example. Yeah, let's which, see. which would mean that you get to be a relic if you are B in race. Well, if you were, let's, let's come up with an example here. For okay. example, uh, the best race is blue skin. Or no, uh, the second best is a relic, the frogman. The third best is a collector, a wizard, a uh, lizard, and uh, D is human. So if you choose A, a blue skin or a gnome, you cannot choose to be, for example, the best class, which is a spellcaster with um, high spell points. Um, but then you mm -hmm. can choose uh, to get one lower to choose B for the class, uh, for the class instead, which is also spellcaster but with less magic, or C, which is a specialist with a many uh, skill points, or D, which is the lowest, which is also specialist with uh, no p points for abilities. Yeah, then you have to buy it with your overall ability point instead. Yeah, and then you can also choose to be A, B or C in combat uh, skills and general skills or in stats, so you get a lot of stats. And uh, you can only choose one A, one B, one C and one D. And that's how uh, it's okay. balanced out. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty, there are a lot cool. of, yeah, I really like the th system. Th there are a lot of, of different Uh, ways you can go about it and that's what I like about it uh, so yeah cool and uh, what's the next step on uh, our character creation here role playing is a really really big part of it right yeah what exactly would you be? I mean no, now we've been talking a lot about the rules but in the end what we really want you to do is immerse yourself in your character and, and live your character so uh, for example what, what, are, what are your character's beliefs and what's his or her personality like or goals maybe you know what 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 is he striving to do uh those yeah. those kinds of things are very important for role playing we think yeah and we have some areas on the character sheet to note down some you know keywords you shouldn't write a whole novel <laughs> because that's difficult to look at for inspiration when you're role playing but just some keywords like he's adventurous He's funny. He's greedy. He's greedy, yeah. He's yeah, afraid yeah. of animals. He likes women or or uh, men for that. <laughs> <laughs> for that matter. He likes yeah. both women and men, maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in the in the end, you know, don't be afraid to also write down weaknesses. As mm. you as you mentioned. He's afraid of animals. He's scared yeah. whenever a dog runs across the street. Yeah. That's cool too. That's that's that makes for a lot of fun role playing. Yeah. So yeah. Well, we would love to we would love to know what kind of character would you play if yeah. you were to make a character in the world of Willow. And uh, like even if you were a character yourself in a in a RPG system, what kind of character would you be? For example, I think um, I think I would be like a bard gnome. First. Gnome is a high priority, right? Yeah. But uh, but but you know you have to start somewhere. Yeah. You have to start. What would you be? I would probably be a blue skin monk. I have to admit. Nice. It's, it's the monks pretty, of Noor. It's, it's, yeah, it's pretty. Mm. It's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah Those are strong. <laughs> okay, but um, that's all for uh, for today. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you have questions, write in the comments. We'll answer or uh, uh, answer them in another video. And um, um, 
yeah, we look forward to go more into like the combat system and uh, the other um, the the other elements of the RPG system. Thanks yeah. for watching. Hope you this gave you a little little Insight. idea of how to make a character. Have a nice day. Take care.